Welcome to Cosmic Creations. Today I want to talk to you about what social media did to Mart. Well, I did it myself, but I want to talk to you about this so you don't make the same mistakes as I did. I'm going to show you a time lapse of a sketch that I made of a goat skull with some roses around it so you have something interesting to watch while I'll tell you my story. Soon after I started out on social media, I felt like I had to post every day to stay successful. So I started to rush my videos and I, um, my drawings became very messy and uh, I didn't put much time in them. Um, and I thought, well, it's still practice, it would still benefit me, but I wasn't learning the things that I wanted to learn. So I was holding myself back with that. People started to notice that I draw it, uh, my left and my right hand. Uh, I don't really have a preference, it's just how I work, but uh, it became the main focus of my articles. So uh, I started to draw, I started to record videos in which I draw with two hands and eventually I started to make two different drawings at the same time, uh, which I like doing every now and then because it is fun to do that. But uh, yeah, it's not good for the quality of my work. Uh, but I started to get comments from people that said uh, that I was doing was fake, but I also got a lot of comments uh, to challenge me to make it even more difficult for myself to make five drawings at the same time, to draw with my feet, to draw with my mouth and things like that. But people weren't looking at the art anymore. And I started to feel like I was participating in a challenge with every drawing that I made. And I'm a person who doesn't like doing challenges at all. I just like to draw and make things and enjoy the process and not doing some kind of contest. Or I don't want to feel like I have to prove myself every day with every video that I make. So eventually my art accounts were only about chasing views and I really needed to turn that around. And this is how I did that. I uh, started to look at uh, my art heroes. Uh, I'm a big fan of Louis Rojo and uh, Dibbert Jensen Nocturno, Frank Vazetta. And I started to remind me of the art that I want to make. I uh, browsed through my art books and let them inspire me. And I was uh, looking at their works and seeing where I lack uh, to make something like that. And I started to study the things that I need to learn to close that gap. I also started to draw more for myself and less for social media. So I don't record everything uh, anymore. I, it's only occasionally now that I make a time lapse of an entire artwork. I just record uh, short snippets of the drawings that I make and sometimes I don't record them at all. Uh, I uh, started to cherish my sketchbook more. I bought a couple of extra sketchbooks and I just carry them around. And most of these drawings are for me alone. And so it doesn't really matter what the quality is about. And it gives me a lot more room to practice on the things uh, where I lack without anyone watching. And that actually helps me a lot. I also started to take more breaks from art uh, and do things that don't have anything to do with that. For me, it's going to the gym. It's the only place where I don't bring my sketchbook. So overall, my art process has become a lot slower. I take a lot more time to practice and to study the topics that I want to draw. And when I do all those, these things, I know that I'll have less content for social media. But what I have will be more authentic and it will, because it will take more time, it will also be of a higher quality. And I hope eventually people will follow me for that. So long story short, don't make your art for social media, don't do what I did, but let social media be nothing more than a tool to share your art and your message. And that was today's video. If this was of any value to you, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the small channel grow. And the sketch that I made is available on my Patreon as a download for all tiers. So hopefully I see you there as well. Thank you for watching and see you with the next one.